Season 3, baby. And it is the first time we'll be playing in the Ukrainian Premier League. Welcome back, my friends, to our FC Pripyat series. Season 3, Episode 1. And there's been a lot of changes in the off-season uh, and in the pre-season. Uh... We've gone through so many different acquisitions. We've sold some players. We've lost a lot of players on loan. But I'm feeling good. We've got a good. We've got a good squad together, thanks to our scouting system. Um, because we got promoted, it pumped our. The board gave us a load more money. We got better prestige. We could attract better players. It's been so good for us. Um, and I'm really excited now because some of the players that we've got are a little bit decent. Just a little bit decent. Okay, so. Um, Alright, let's just take you through the transfer history first and foremost. We've still got a couple more. I'll take you through this one, uh, these ones first, then we'll go through the history. I'm still also trying to find some other players for certain positions, but we've got Viktor Kovalev, who uh, looks looks fairly decent. He's um, he's gonna be a, he obviously he's gonna be a long term one. He was available for loan, but I feel like I could bring him in. Um, you, you know, I I absolutely just love. Um, youth players that can come in. I, I found out that he did have a low determination though, so I thought it was a winger. It's like you But we'll see. A defensive winger. But it gives us a, it gives us an option on that right hand side because he can just play literally any position from wing back all the way up to attacking midfielder. So uh so happy with that. Uh, we're still working on this guy so I won't need to introduce you to him just yet just in case it doesn't work out. Um but yeah we got given a big budget. Uh, I think we started with about 400,000 or something like that our transfer budget but yeah um, the, the 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 board are clearly so happy with me uh, I've told them I want to stay in the division they agree and so they've given me loads of money so finally Nikita Stipileski has joined um, it's only 18 I think I signed him when he was 16 or just turned 17 uh, he's finally joined the club he's a good central midfielder good passing he's 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 going to be someone for the future but i think he might be able to um do a bit for us now next is maxim degchirov um he was actually released at the end of last season and i managed to pick up on a free so olympic donetsk actually got relegated if you remember they finished 12th after avangord kramatorsk um, went on that superb run to finish 11th and he's a good player he's actually probably one of our best players now managed to get him fairly uh, well so I got him on a free contract wise fairly cheap he's only with us for the um, he, he's sorry he's, he's with us for a while as well um, but no doubt other clubs will come sniffing we got him as soon as he turned into a free transfer uh, we managed to pick him up so really happy with that uh, and he's a, he's been around clubs that are similar level to us anyway so I think even if we hadn't got promoted, we may have had a decent chance of bringing him in. Um, but yeah, he's worth one and a half million, which is a great resale value for us as well. Um, Vladislav Marov. Now, as you know, we knocked out uh, Karpaty. We smashed them and put them down to the bottom. Uh, well, the bottom of the two leagues that we run in this in, in this uh, in this series anyway. Um, and he was available on the cheap. So here I come in. 150 grand, um, and I managed to managed to whip him up. He's already jumped up in value to 225. Uh, really good centre back, really good option for us. So happy with that. Yuri Kravchuk is a name that you'll already be familiar with, as he uh, used to play for us and then went to sign for Liev uh, for 125 grand. He he's only played three times, but he scored once in that time as well. But I think they feel like he's just a little bit too young still. It's still, still 18, and he was available for loan. So I picked him straight back up. Uh, Jadia. Um, now we have had one Brazilian before on loan, but this is our first full signing. He's only 17 years old, 450 quid a week. He's already played for the under 20s as well. Really excited about this guy. He, even at 17, he comes in, jumps straight into our first team. Signing from Botafogo. Um, yeah, like he, he's. If we can keep hold of him, uh, he'll be with us for, for the longest time. Um, Pavel Karasev. He, uh, it was really hard to find a ball winning midfielder, so I managed to um, find him. Got him for 95 grand from Anchi Um I can't pronounce that. I can't pronounce their name for, for Toffee. So, um, but yeah, so he's going to slot in. Um, really, really good player. Uh, welcome to the team, uh, Georgie Chiatchilavili. Um, 
managed to sign him for 230 grand now he uh, from Dinamo Kiev now he was complaining he wasn't getting any first team football um, managed to uh, bring him in from Dinamo Kiev so really happy with that Valerie Bondar uh, got him for a free from Shakhtar after he was released from his contract he's never played a competitive game of football in his life and he is now 21 so I think it's about time that we address that he's, he's definitely a backup but he's still someone that we're, uh, we're, we're definitely interested in keeping around um, Yuri Dupin now okay look at these stats right He's, he's, he's getting on a bit, he's 32, but his stats meant that I had to sign him, even for the inflated wages. Um, so yeah, he, he, he slots in as, uh, as our number one. Um, Eugene Shavchuk, Savchuk has come in as uh, on loan from Shakhtar. Um, good rotational option on the wing. And finally, just recently, we signed Vitaly Sakharovic, who we already had signed for a while, but he's... Um, He's finally joined the club as well. Now we've we've had a few players go out on loan. We've we've sold a couple of hot prospects again with some, with some decent um, sell on percentages. Uh, but the biggest one we've said goodbye to is Yaroslav Aksionov. Now this wasn't due to the fact that I got emotional in because we still went up when we played Kapati, but I did get emotional when he missed that penalty. But they came in, they offered a load of money. I got a decent sell on percentage as well. Um, and they signed him, um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed because now we actually are short of a striker. But it does. Oh, and sorry, uh, one more as well before I go on to talk about his replacement. Shevchuk went to Dnipro after being touted for ages, uh, and Yuri Dreischluck as well, who we've had from the start, uh, went to Arsenal Kiev and dropped down the divisions again. Um, charashuk has gone on loan as well. So what this essentially? Oh, and and Kozia has been and uh, been sold to Kapati as well. But what this means is, is that we're very short on strikers now. So, Sergei Babenko, who has just turned 16 this month, is now starting. He's now our number nine. He's our starting forward. Um, Dinamo Kiev are sniffing around him. But obviously, look, I mean, just, just look at these stats. And he's shooting up all the time. So, um, if we can hold on to him, I'm going to be really happy. Um, but yeah, so, this is the new look team. Uh... We're still going to go with the 4-2-3-1 because it served us so well. We're getting so much good stuff here. I've played a lot of pre-season friendlies. Okay, let me just show you quickly all the pre-season friendlies I've played. Um, I think that's helped when it comes to these lines. I think it's just built up familiarity. But this, this squad's now looking strong, man. So I am feeling very confident. And we've just... So before we, before we, start, the, uh, before we start the game, I'm just going to quickly show you... Uh, right, so this is the guy we're trying to sign. Uh, you can see the way I negotiate if you want. That's not a problem. Um, tried to sign him for a little bit longer. Those are some hefty wages you are after, my friend. We'll, we'll bribe the agent. Bribe the agent. And, uh, and then he'll come. Fine, sign it. That'll do. Okay. And, and he's a bloody he's going to be a bloody rotation but it's so hard to come across good strikers for 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 semi all right wages um so let's have a quick look at the preview um we are a thousand to one to win so we're a heavy we're a heavy uh we're a heavy favorite to go down again um but we I, i'm feeling confident i don't think we will I don't. I don't think we will. I think we're going to have a good chance now. Obviously, we just need to beat the teams around us. You know, Volin, Avangard, Dnipro, and Ilchivets, who are actually the first team that we're going to play um, in this season. So we're going to do the one game. We're going to we're going to see how the team performs. As you can see, we are we are not favourites by by any means, but it's this is going to be a good test for us. The teams obviously got still got to try and. Get a bit of gelling, do, uh, gelling done. Uh, Berezovsky will play him anyway. Because this is this this from what I've seen is going to be our um, our preferred eleven. It might change over the course of the of the season, but uh, yeah, let's um, let's stop talking and let's let's actually start playing some football. Oh, I can't believe we've actually got up to the Premier League so quickly as well. I wasn't expecting it to uh, 
to be as quick as it was but yeah now that we're here it's time it's time to actually um make our mark on it the benko on his debut 16 years old i am excited for this chap i really am oh avangard kramatorsk one nil away from home wow Considering they uh, just barely avoided relegation last season, they're, they're coming out the blocks. Showing a bit of intense changing. Okay, this is this is looking like quite a uh, healthy highlight to them. Oh my god, what a... I was going to say what a save. It's more like what a miss, what a shot. The crossbar saves our blushes. Well done, Gia Pin. So yeah, it's honestly going from fifty sixth in the world in terms of the league structure to eighth meant that our scouting network was able to start attracting a lot better players, and thank God for that because um, it has been difficult. It has been difficult at times to bring in decent players. Babenko plays the ball back into Kravchuk. Kravchuk plays it inside to Jadir, the seventeen year old Brazilian. Plays the ball over the top. Babenko can't get onto the end of it. Ball gets cleared. Knocked down. Jadir can't get to the ball in time. He's got some work to do, that lad. Nuno Nuno Rocha. Saved by Dupin. And honestly, Dupin, I got him so cheap. Um, other than his wages, obviously. But he's I think he's gonna be the difference, if I'm being perfectly honest, when it comes to this this season. If he can stay fit, he's gonna save somebody. And I am a bit gutted because Kutcher um was was brilliant for us as well but you know when a player like that comes comes on the market I'd be a fool to ignore it out of, out of loyalty Babenko still going Babenko plays it wide to Fatih Fatih whips the ball across falls down to Kravchuk <laughs> he's come back his second time with the club and he scored on his debut well can you have a debut yeah it would be his, would it be his debut would that actually be his debut again I don't know either way he's he's Oh god, it's like it's like. Do you remember when um, Thierry Henry came back for Arsenal and scored that goal against Leeds? That was like that. That was just like I'm here. Remember this? Remember, even though he's only 18, but he's like, remember how good I am? Um, and he and he's he's doing it over the top. of Benko on his debut. It's two nil. It's two nil. It's been disallowed. It's not two nil. It's one nil. The linesman's a twat. Linesman's a fucking fucking twat. Ah. Well, our condition has dropped like drastically in that first half. My players are knackered, but it's going well. It's going really well. I never know quite know how to react at the start of a season, simply because I'm I'm still not overly confident that it's not just like a one-off. Do you know what I mean? Like we beat Volin in that first in the first season one nil. In, in a sea of defeats and I'm like clearly doesn't mean anything then does it because we're losing every other game anyway right we've got some decisions to make yet I think Beresovsky's going to come off and I'll bring on uh, yeah we'll bring on Konoshenko he's uh, he's another one who's coming up now so he can make his debut as a sub uh, what else what else should we do I'm going to bring off to Chevelli. Uh Oh, do you know what? He's bloody good as an inside forward on that side, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, no. No. We'll leave it like that. And we'll bring on Savchuk on loan from Shakhtar. Let's see if he can. Uh, let's see if he can make his market for the club. You know, don't forget the four five the four five star indicators aren't an indicator of how good they are in the game. It's how good they are uh, with respect to the rest of my team. So, you know, if you remember Meerkat, he he was I, I checked on him. I checked on him recently as well. His value is still going up. I don't know how that's possible. We sold him for like sixty grand. He's now like three hundred, which is a bit ridiculous. But yeah, you know, overall. Overall, I think we've got a decent enough squad to challenge, not to challenge, that's the, that's the wrong word to use, to avoid relegation. That's the aim at the end of the day. That, that's all we could look to do. 
our young <coughs> excuse me centre back. Uh, yeah, he can come on for his debut as well. Not his full debut, mind, just uh, a substitute debut. Jadia, penalty? Nope. Jadia has a shot. <sighs> Ooh, well, that's venom in it. That did. Savchuk. Oh, off the crossbar and bounces back out. Or back in, shall I say. Back into play. We'll just finish the season here. I'll take that. Look at that. Second. I mean, only four teams have played. But, shut up. Oh, no. Not a late highlight. Greenock. Nothing stupid. Oh, Kravchuk wins that in the air, but it's going to be a highlight to them. It's quite a long... Oh, no. Could be to us. No, it's to them. And it's a long highlight. Oh, it's going to be heartbreaking, that first game. Yep. Oh. See, it's things like that which make me. Th Oof. It's things like that which make me think we are still going to struggle this season. <laughs> uh, but it's a good result on paper, but. Yeah. I don't know. It. It's it's too early to tell, right? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, sim a little bit into the season era, season anyway. So we're gonna do what we do before. So, oh my God! I just I just just seen that we've got Shakhtar and Dinamo Kiev. One game after the other. So, should we should we do the second episode there because it's two big teams and obviously this one against Dinamo Kiev, we actually want to get revenge as well. Because they broke our hearts on penalties in last year's quarter final. Um. Yeah, let's do it. We'll, we'll, yeah, come on, we'll do it. We're gonna we're gonna do an episode based on these two games as well. So um, I've got one more game in between. Um, but we'll leave it there. Listen, thanks again. I uh, it's the start of a brand new season. A lot of optimism. Um, consolidating our place in this league is the priority. Um. So yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. But until then, you take care.